Hi everyone. Okay, we are working on solving equations using quadratic techniques. Now these first two are actually, I'm not going to use the formal quadratic technique on that. Um, these are just going to solve by factoring, these first two examples that I have for you. And these are just more involved equations. And so I said we're going to solve by factoring. And I see three I'm going to pull out the GCF first. It goes into 9 and 12, also x squared. So I got 3x squared, and here I have 3x squared, and minus 4 equals 0. And when I go to solve, I've got it factored now. This isn't going to factor anymore. It's not a if it were x squared minus 4, I'd go x plus 2, x minus 2, but we got that 3 there. So let's set each part equal to 0. 3x squared equals 0, or 3x squared minus 4 equals 0. And divide by 3 here, and you got x squared is equal to 0. And the only thing x can be there, when you take square root, you'll get x is 0. Well, let me add 4 here. And I got 3x squared equals 4. And I'll divide through by 3. I got x squared equals 4 thirds. And when I go to take the square root, don't forget we got a positive and a negative square root. So that's x equals plus or minus square root of 4 thirds. I didn't gain much by doing that. But um, let me come up here and simplify that. And that's plus or minus the square root of 4 over the square root of 3. And plus or minus 2 over the square root of 3. And if I multiply that by the square root of 3 to rationalize the denominator, square root of 3 over 3, I got plus or minus 2 radical 3 over 3. So my solutions are 0, 2 radical 3 over 3, and negative 2 radical 3 over 3. Alright, three solutions there. What happens is this, um, and we'll talk multiplicity when we get into polynomials, this 0 kind of counts as, I, I'm looking, I was looking for four solutions. The 0 kind of counts twice because it's x squared equals 0, so x is kind of um, 0 counts as two of the solutions, even though it is just one number. Counts toward two of them. All right. We'll explain that later. That wasn't very clear, so I'll talk about that when we get to polynomials. Now, the second one, and again, this one I'd be looking for three solutions, or how to account for the three, the degree of three. And four terms, when I see four terms, one thing I like to go to, I think, is grouping. So let's go x squared times x minus 5 plus 2 times x minus 10. So, oops, 5, I mean, 2 times x minus 5, set that equal to 0. So I've got x squared, wait, I always like to do, let's do the common factor first, x minus 5 and then x squared plus 2, multiply that together, and that's 0. So, x minus 5 equals 0, not sure why I wrote those parentheses, or x squared plus 2 equals 0. I add 5 to both sides, and we've got x equals 5, or, let's see, x squared equals negative 2, Take the square root of both sides, and it's a positive or negative. x equals plus or minus the square root of negative 2. And if you'll recall, we are into our complex mode now. That's negative 1 times 2, so x equals plus or minus the square root of 2 times i. So, one solution is 5, one is radical 2i, and one is negative radical 2i. 
So there's my three solutions there. Okay, next two examples are the quadratic technique type. And, you know, um, a quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c. Well, sometimes you can kind of s simulate that. Um, and when you have a power of 2 here and a power of 1 here, if this power is twice as big as this power, then we can do that. And one thing that I like to do is introduce a new variable. Our new variable be u. We'll let the u be x squared. So when I rewrite this, it's x squared squared minus 7 times x squared plus 12 equals 0. And then if I'm letting u be this x squared here, I'm going to solve u squared minus 7u plus 12 equals 0. I think I can probably factor that. And if you can't factor it, you can use quadratic formula, but I think we have something that multiplies to 12 and adds to negative 7, and that would be minus 3 and minus 4. So u minus 3 equals 0, or u minus 4 equals 0. All right, I'm just trying to see if you understand that is, I rewrite the x squared as x squared squared, then you have a thing squared minus 7 times it to the first power plus 12. It, you kind of get a quadratic going there. And when I let u be the x squared and put u in place of everywhere x squared was, that is a quadratic. Now, once I get these solutions, u equals 3 or u equals 4, then I take the u's back out and put the x squareds back in. The u's just let me do it with the quadratic. So x squared equals 3 or x squared equals 4. When I take the square root and the positive or negative square root of both sides, positive or negative square root, I got x equals plus or minus the square root of 3 or x equals plus or minus 2. So square root of 3 negative square root of 3, 2, negative square root of 2. I've got four solutions. This is a fourth power. That's what I would, I need to have somehow account for all four of the solutions and it should match the degree of the equation.